When you think of the last year, what are some words that come to mind? Uh, struggling and frustrating are, are some big ones. For the last year, Austin police have operated without a long-term contract from the city. It was one year ago today the police contract expired. Now that we are out of contract, we're continuing to struggle to recruit, not just from getting people to apply, but also the process and the constraints that being out of contract puts on that process. Last month, the Austin Police Association and the city of Austin returned to the negotiating table to discuss a contract. They're meeting again later this month in two and a half weeks, but the discussions aren't without bumps in the road, particularly the implementation of the voter approved police oversight act. I do think the prop A in the civilian oversight um, is going to be a, 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 a hurdle for the union. Um, but I also think that the city should continue to stick to their um, stick to their guns in terms of, you know, making sure that Prop A is going to be implemented in this contract if they actually get one. Our position is that we cannot be forced to just agree to everything in Prop A, but at the same time, we're not trying to stand in its way. Bullock tells us it's also a concern that even if a contract were agreed to, the city council might not move to accept it. This has happened in the past, including last year, just before the contract expired. Now, the major question is whether or not the Police Oversight Act will be implemented and implemented fully at that. Whatever contract comes before us needs to fully comply with the Police Oversight Act that the voters asked for. And I believe they heard that loud and clear and will not bring anything to us that doesn't do that. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.